Alright guys, welcome on back. It's been a while since we've been in Libra Sprite, but we're back and today we are creating a uh, uh, button animation, a pixel art button animation. I thought it'd be pretty fun. Uh, right now I want to mention that I'm actually gone, so I'm not going to be able to answer anybody's comments for a while, but I'll be back sometime soon. I'm pre-recording all these videos for you guys so you have some content, but, um, but yeah, let's get started really quickly. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and draw a, a semi circle. I'm going to turn the grid on as well. So we'll go ahead and turn the grid on. Uh, yeah, that's going to, we're going to have to fix up that grid. It should be with like that. There you go. All right. So it's, we're going to go somewhere like three by three and then down a little bit. I don't want it to be exactly perfect. So we'll do something like this. Yeah, that looks good. And then down something like that. And then what I'm going to do after that is we'll change the color up to white and I'll kind of draw a little bit of a button kind of a shape right about there, maybe perhaps something like that. And I want to erase this bad boy right there and then go up like that. G to no, not G to bucket fill. What's the button to bucket fill? It's been a while. G. Yeah, and it, 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 wait, no, wait a second. Now it is G to bucket fill. Why is that not working? I think it's because the grid's on, by the way, um, but we'll go ahead and just we'll color all that in. Yeah, sure. There we go. We'll fill all that in. And now that we have that going, I want to go ahead and extend the bottom portion uh, of the of the button here by doing something like uh, like that. Something like that. Pretty simple. And for this piece, we'll go ahead and draw that line down like that. And we'll change the bottom half of the button to like a bluer, like a bluer color, something like maybe this. Yeah, looking good. And then I to I drop that. I want to get rid of these sides as well. Something like this, perhaps. And then we'll grab. We'll turn, we can turn the grid off now. I think we got that that down pat. Uh, 16 by 16, 16, 16. Yeah. Uh, and then we'll choose a lighter color of this same type of blue here, and we'll push it to that side, and we'll get a little bit of anti-aliasing going on here. Perhaps something like that, maybe a little bit there and there as well. And we'll eye drop this color, place it right there. Looking pretty good. All right, so we got that white button, and we got the uh, the, the 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 black uh, the black thing the, the white button's coming off of. All right, so I'll make that maybe like a red color. We'll use this red right here. Yeah, sure. Yeah, there we go. We can eye drop that right now. See, we can't eye drop inside. Uh, I think that I think the problem was the grid. So yeah, we'll go ahead and fix all that up. We'll I drop all of this. Um, yeah. All right. So uh, I'm gonna take this this color and drag it down, desaturate it, and pull it to the uh, pull it to the right. Actually, no, pull it to well, pull it to the left. Yeah, something like this, and we'll draw a line there, connect it all the way across, all the way across, all the way across, and back up. Something like this, perhaps. Yeah. Maybe right there as well. And I'll go ahead and darken this once again. Desaturate. Draw to the left. And we'll get a little bit of a darker shading going on here. Yeah. Maybe something like this. I like that. And then maybe I'll get rid of these edges as well here. Yeah. Okay. So that's looking pretty good so far. I want to go ahead and get maybe one more darker color off of this color right here. And we'll put that right there and there. Yeah for the super the super darker areas. All right, so that looks pretty good. Uh, now, I want to go ahead and do a little bit of a highlight before we start to animate. So I'll, I'll, I'll I drop this main color, uh, push that color up, and we'll go to the left. Uh, oh, you know what we'll do? We'll go to the right here and grab a more orangey-ish red type of thing like that. Yeah, that looks better. Maybe we'll do like a little bit of a thing like that. Yeah. All right, so that, that seems like that's just enough that's just not ah, eh, maybe eh, I don't know we'll leave it we'll leave it we'll leave it uh, so now I'm gonna go ahead and get to the animation portion we're just gonna do a really really smooth easy pop down in this button right here let me get a piece right there and right there as well it was really easy pop down in this button right here so I'll go ahead and I'll select our keyframe right there I hit duplicate cell uh, and then we'll push our We'll push our button down by going, grabbing our box selection tool, and we'll just draw a box over all that. Hold down Shift to select multiple different portions, and then we'll just move it down one pixel. And then we'll go ahead and select that, duplicate the cell once again. We'll, we'll move it down again, and duplicate it again. We'll leave it there this time, 
We'll leave it there again. We'll duplicate again, leave it in the same place. Then we'll go ahead, duplicate it one more time and pop it back on up two frames. Duplicate, pop it up one frame, and then uh, it should be able to loop pretty fine from there. All right, so now you see if I go ahead and deselect this, uh, if I play this, uh, it's, it's looking kind of slow right now, and the reason for that is because it, it is slow. So we'll go ahead and go to frame, change the constant frame rate to something like 60 perhaps. Yeah, something like that maybe, and instead I'm thinking there's a little bit too many frames here, so I'll get rid of the second frame, I'll go ahead and I'll hit delete on that one, and then it'll just pop down like that, and then it'll pop up, uh, and maybe I'll move this one down a frame, so it does something like uh, like this instead. Yeah, I like that. That's more of a button-like feel to it. So now you see we have a bit of empty space here. So I'll go ahead and hit I to eye drop that. G to bucket fill all of these areas that's missing. So there was an area in there and right there as well. And you can see this uh, this little piece right here is kind of missing. It looks kind of weird. So I'll go ahead and fill that in. And I'll probably connect that all the way across right there. Same thing on this frame. Erase that piece. Uh, and the same thing on this frame right here as well. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and do the shading for these. Uh, the same way so something like that like that all the way across all the way across and all the way across right here as well and then we'll go ahead up oh, we'll see now I have to fix these edges as well since I added that shading there you gotta make sure everything's consistent or else it'll look kind of weird when it's uh, animated and we'll grab the darker color pop two pieces right there pop two pieces right there and also right there so now we should have one fluid button popping type animation I want to also go ahead and add a frame between four and five so I'll go ahead and I'll grab frame five we'll select this button again because it's a little too poppy now so we'll go ahead and select all this holding on shift move it down one frame uh, no move it down one frame something like that and that's looking good so now we got to once again uh, go ahead and fix this this top piece so I'll go ahead and eye drop the darkest color and put that back right where it belongs so that is good right there all right so that's looking pretty good like a button is being pressed maybe i want to add a little bit of a shadow um because it's looking kind of uh kind of flat at the moment so i'll go ahead and we'll add a bit of a shadow underneath the button here maybe something like that and then when it's pressed uh the shadow kind of goes away it's coming back up here and I want to make sure I know exactly where that was. So it starts right there. There you go. Yeah. And then it's going back up now. So all of this will once again be in shadow. So that's looking pretty good right there. And now we have a bit of a shadow underneath the button, which looks much better in my opinion. I think that looks pretty good. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if you uh, learned something new. You guys love pixel art tutorials, so I'm going to have a couple more of those coming to you in the future. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial, but until then, bye-bye.